are ready with the call. Welcome to Cricket Loans Arena in Cleveland, Ohio. It's a Martin Luther King Day special as we get set for the last game of the season between the Cleveland Cavaliers and the Golden State Warriors. Good evening, everyone. I'm Mike Green. Joining alongside me, as always, is Jeff Van Gundy. And this is the final game of the regular season, but they've got plenty more big games to come up. Playoffs just ahead, Jeff. These guys, you can see, they can't wait for the playoffs to begin. And that's what the coaching conundrum is right now. Do you play your main guys and keep the momentum going? Or are you worried about resting them and trying to avoid injury? I think you play them a half and then take them out and get ready for the second season. so many great things in the NBA, but it's hard to forget when Davidson went to the Elite Eight in 2008, how much fun was that to watch that kid playing college basketball? Well, he, again, you don't expect a slight frame from Davidson and to put out a lottery pick. It really was impacted. He, he, this stock shot up because of that Elite Eight run. What a terrific performance by him, his coach Bob McKillop, and all of those guys, but Steph Curry put Davidson basketball on the map. Just the shot. Nice move. Just won't get it to drop. Driving the ball into the paint is the most important offensive tool in the game. He had a great look. He just missed the Irving shot. Swatted away. It's out of bounds. this half on a strong note. Curry on the drive. <laughs> Irving in possession. James the jumper. Bogut the rebound. Jalen Rose will be there. Welcome to the EA Sports Halftime Report. Brought to you by yours truly, Jalen Rose. The Cavaliers have the halftime lead and didn't really do it with their offense. Of course, the most important lead is the one at the end of the game with the final buzzer. Their offense will probably need to improve to make that a possibility. The Warriors aren't down by much after two quarters. They certainly staked the flag in the paint. They were dominant around the rim on the offensive end. These are the guys getting buckets for the Golden State Warriors. Game trap. 
three-point field goal percentage. Given the number of long-range attempts by these squads, you'd think they were raining threes on each other. As you know, of course, that wasn't the case. Player of the half. Kevin Love has already put together a pretty nice highlight reel for himself, and that's just after one half of basketball. He did a lot of scoring, and it probably won't stop anytime soon. And we conclude this segment with the shot chart. Who was cold? Steph Curry made enough bricks to earn a job in construction. He's been able to get shots up, but more often than not, they just haven't been dropping for him. And now look at the numbers. Here we go with the top plays. Number three. Number two. Number one. Thanks for joining us for the halftime report. The second half is about to get started. Welcome back to the Quicken Loans Arena for the second half. Along with me is Jeff Van Gundy, Mike Green on hand. Cleveland's got themselves a lead as we get set to start the third quarter, but this game certainly is up for grabs. It certainly is, and it's going to take energy and efficiency at both ends of the floor. Lee set to bring it up. Nails it. That's a two-pointer. Let's it go. Gets it to go. Three-point game. You need guys who can make shots under duress and pressure. That was a well-defended possession, but that man stuck it, even against the best defense. When you're up three, 
with around 30 seconds to go, you need to make at least one of these two free throws to make it a two-possession game. First free throw, good. It's a five-point game. James against Iguodala. Had to do it there. They stopped the clock with the foul. To number two, Kyrie Irving. For Golden State, Stephen Curry to the line for two. Connect on the first free throw. Walk for two at the line. They lead by six. From three point land. And there's the final buzzer. The final score is 47 to 41. For Jeff Van Gundy and our entire EA Sports crew, this is Mike Breen saying good night. Hey everyone, it's Jalen Rose, and it's time for the EA Sports post game wrap up. The Warriors won this game after a close finish. Looking back at this matchup, I think it was their consistent scoring that ultimately got them the win. They put together a solid field goal percentage. What you see here is how the majority of the points were scored for the Golden State Warriors. The Cavaliers must be devastated after such a close loss. No one can say they lost because of lack of effort. The way they attacked the offensive boards deserves some credit for sure. What you see here is how the majority of the points were scored for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Fuck is LeBron. Game. That nigga down. Points in the paint. This was a game for old school fans of basketball. The way these players worked in the paint, earning points the hard way, definitely put a smile on my face. Here's a look at the game stats. Player of the game. Steph Curry gets rewarded for the way he provided his teammates with plenty of easy baskets. His assist total is certainly indicative of his clever playmaking. And here we have a look at the stats. Who was cold? Ron. LeBron James didn't move the net much at all in what turned out to be a frustrating game. It's not like he didn't score anything today, but he definitely didn't do it efficiently. It was quite a demonstration of poor shooting. Here are the top three plays from the game. Number three. Number two. Ooh. Monster dunk. And that does it for our post-game wrap-up. On behalf of ESPN on EA Sports, I'm Jalen Rose. Thanks for joining us. Hey, Jalen. Sit down, bro.